10 Symptoms of Dengue Fever A mosquito-borne disease common in the tropics, dengue fever implies a viral infection which can life-threatening in certain circumstances. The virus responsible for dengue is has five types and exposure to one type usually allows for lifelong immunity against it but only short-term immunity against the other types. There is no specific treatment for dengue, and oral or intravenous rehydration is prescribed in mild to moderate cases. For more severe infections intravenous fluids and blood transfusion may be required. The following symptoms usually signify the onset of dengue fever and call for immediate recuperative measures. High fever In a way, high fever is the most distinctive symptom associated with dengue, even as it is a very non-specific ailment to have otherwise. Those who contract the virus typically develop a very high temperature ranging from anywhere between 101 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. This usually occurs 3 to 15 days after exposure to the virus. Many patients complain of severe chills and shivering adding to the discomfort. Mostly, over-the-counter medication is prescribed to keep the fever in check. It is vitally important that one avoids self-medication when it comes to dengue since several over-the-counter drugs can cause bleeding complications. Thus, if one has high fever and other dengue symptoms, they should refrain from taking any meds themselves and consult a physician immediately. Aches and pains across the body Most people with dengue fever also tend to develop aches and pains across their body. These may occur in the muscles, the bones or even the joints. This occurs because the viral presence causes deficiency of vitamins and minerals in the body, thus causing the body ache. In a large number of cases, the pain is quite severe and hence the intake of nutrient-rich fluids is extremely important. In fact, in people with compromised immunity and those who do not emphasize on healthy consumption during post-recovery, the body ache may remain for weeks after the infection has been contained. Nausea and Vomiting In several dengue cases, patients suffer from nausea and vomiting as well. This is because if the virus is potent and one has low immunity, the infection spreads more rapidly and affects the gastric tract as well. Nausea and vomiting shouldn't last for more than a couple of days or even occur too frequently. If it does, the suffering individual has severe dengue which is a life-threatening condition. Even with non-severe dengue, the low-intensity nausea and or vomiting tend to affect the body adversely. Skin Rush Another fairly common symptom of mild to moderate dengue fever is the appearance of a skin rash. In most instances the rash occurs about 3 to 4 days after the fever. It initially tends to affect the facial area giving the skin a spotty, flushed look with patches of redness in some areas. The second site for the rash is the trunk area, from where it may spread in all directions, towards the chest, arms and legs even. Another type of dengue rash is characterized by cluster dots which may appear anywhere across the body once the fever begins to subside. For the most part, the dengue rash is not itchy. However, in some rare cases, individuals have been found to develop an itchy rash on their palms and or soles of feet. Dengue rashes also have a tendency to appear and reappear, they may get better by themselves for a couple of days and then resurface unexpectedly. Loss of appetite People tend to lose their appetite alongside being more dehydrated than normal. This loss of fluid needs to be addressed urgently in order to prevent exacerbation of other discomforts. If the infection is mild to moderate, relief from these symptoms should be achieved in about 3 to 4 days at the most. Headache The usage of painkillers to alleviate discomfort should be strictly restricted to those prescribed by a medical practitioner for some over-the-counter meds may aggravate the symptoms or increase risk of complications. Headaches, lower back pain and pain behind the eyes are the most widely observed in dengue patients. Abdominal pain Severe abdominal pain is a common symptom of dengue fever. The feeling of pain in the stomach can range in intensity from moderate to intense. The pain usually develops in the right upper quadrant of the stomach. Oftentimes, abdominal pain may also be associated with breathing difficulties. Bloody gums and nose Some people may also suffer from nose bleeds and bloody gums. This condition where one's nose bleeds is rarely life-threatening and is called epistaxis. Most of the times, nose bleeds are benign, but can be recurrent. However, in rare cases, epistaxis can be severe enough that it requires blood transfusion. Blood in stools After 3 to 5 days of fever, one experiences blood in stools. Black stools, like coal tar may become noticeable for the patient suffering from dengue. The condition is called melana. This occurs primarily due to hemorrhage in the alimentary tract. If you notice the symptom, you should see your physician. Symptoms of complication A small minority of dengue victims may develop severe dengue which is a potentially life-threatening condition. In such cases, blood vessels may get damaged and become leaky and the platelet count of the bloodstream may drop severely. Organ dysfunction relating to the lungs, heart or liver may also occur. These developments then produce a number of symptoms alongside the typical dengue discomforts. Patients may vomit persistently, often with blood in it. 
bruise-like formations may be visible on the skin, which actually signify bleeding under the epidermis. The presence of any of these symptoms constitutes a medical emergency and the suffering individual should receive professional medical attention at the earliest.